Good morning, fam. It's your boy Black at you. Back at you. Another video. This video here is going to be about black unity. I'm not going to get so deep into um, the black unity thing, but um, I had a discussion this morning. A couple minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, this brother, and my opinions, my views hurt him. I could see in his face he was hurting. But this is what we was talking about. He kept saying about, you know, blacks, we need to get together. We need unity. And then when I told him, okay, that is true. But I told him, it would never happen. He looked surprised. And I, I explained to him why. I told him, we, it's about having things in common. You look after slavery. 1865, slaves were let go, let free. To do what they, they got to do to survive out here. They had unity. Why? Because they came from something they all knew about. Slavery. Getting your ass beat. Picking cotton. Working. Being fucking belittled for your, for your fucking whole life. Now, out here, we don't have that. So what makes you think now in the year 2017, we should have more unity than what they had back then. Back then they had more unity. You can see the proof is that proofs in the pudding where they had Black Wall Street and they, they made things they stuck together. They, it was segregated, so they had they had to stick together. Now this integration shit it separates us. I'm not saying it's bad, but in a way it is bad, in a way it was better. Now if you look back at um let's see, Africans. We were talking about unity. If you go to Africa, I've been there, I'll say, multiple times. Ghana, Egypt. And you ask one people, what are you? They're not going to say African. They're not going to tell you no African. I know damn sure in, in, um, in Ghana, they don't say, well, I'm African. No. They don't go by their tribe. They don't say, well, I'm Ewe, I'm Ga, I'm Akan, Twi. That's what they're going to tell you. Because they stick to their tribes. If you look fast forward, far as in America or, or other places, we stick together. Our comrade, comrade comes with our community. You know, if you're from Harlem, you say, well, I'm from St. Nick Projects. He might say, I'm from Lincoln. Homie might say, I'm from Drew. He's from Wagner. I'm from Polar Grounds. We stick with our kind. So that's like tribalism. We stick with our tribes. It, it will always be that way. It's not going to be we all stick together as a, as a massive, all because we have brown skin and we all live, say, in America. But we all going to stick together. That's never going to fucking happen. It's not. And the whole thing about it, if you look at it, we are different people. Look at each other. We are different people. We all do not come from the same village. Them goddamn crackers did not come to uh, Africa and went to one village and picked everybody up from that one village and took us over to America. And now we, we can say, we are all the same people. That's not true. If I cut you, take blood from myself, take blood from him, take blood from her, most likely we're going to have different origins. I mean, we came from different countries, different places in Africa. So you must think also, when those slaves were taken from Africa, they ain't like they all spoke the same language. They all hopped on a boat with like, oh, whoa, 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 and, and fucking everyone understood what they are talking about. No, it wasn't like that. They didn't understand each other. They ate different foods. They had different cultures, made different musics, different customs. They worshipped different deities, had different religions, you know. And so by the time they got to America, they, they was trained to speak English. To come as one. And that's what we are. The product of that. But we are not all the same. So when I told the brother. We are not the same people. Oh man. His face got mad. He go to my. You shouldn't say that. You know. We don't. We don't. We don't need that. And stuff. Stuff of that nature. But I'm telling the goddamn truth. I said if I'm wrong. You prove me wrong. I'm telling you. We're not the same guy people. I looked at him. I said he's, he's short. A little chubby dude. I say, we, we, we don't come from the same place in Africa. So we are different people. Even though we're here, we should try to get along together. 
We should try to come together and unify. We should. I'm not saying we shouldn't, but it's not going to happen. Definitely not going to happen. We are not the same people. You look at gangs. Crips hang with Crips. Blood hang with Bloods. GDs hang with GDs. Vice Lords with Vice Lords. Fucking Latin Kings with Latin Kings. Nears with others. It's a tribal thing. You stick with people that you are down with. I learned this one time in a way when I first came to the military. Long time ago. 86. You know, we all hang together. We all talk and bullshit around. And then the drill son came out and said, smoke break. Smoke if you got them. The blacks went their way. The whites went their way. The Hispanics went that way. Then the drill son came back and said, what the fuck is going on here? Be like, what's up? He said, what's this racism shit here? Everyone like, look at him like, what are you talking about? You know, they put in their head, he's like, why, uh, why the blacks go here? Why the whites go here? Why the perkins go here? Something that we didn't even, we didn't even notice that. We, we didn't know we was doing that. So it's fuck as natural instinct for you to go with your people. If that's your homie, y'all live, say, like a Harlem, Spanish Harlem, Bronx, whatever, and that perkin brother's your brother, you're going to go with him because that's your brother. You're not going to just go wander off with somebody else that you don't fucking know. Dogs don't do that. Animals don't do that, you know? So the unity is like tribalism. You stick together with what you know, what you feel safe and secure with, who you trust. That's who you're going to unify with. You can't unify with everybody. You can't sit there and say every brown person is your brother because he got brown skin. Maybe you can, but I don't do that. Not me. I don't do that because you got these crackers out here and you got these fucking brown devils out here too or fucking men's society motherfuckers. For example... This motherfucker here doing dumb shit on the streets, cutting faces and stupid shit like that. Is that your brother? That motherfucker's not my brother. I want nothing to do with him because we have, we have nothing in common. He's a fucking low life, but he might think what he's doing is to make his tribe happy. You understand? I'm trying to get at. So that's why he do that. He's not doing that for me. It, 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 I have no kind of feelings for his people. So why should I say he's my brother? Because he got brown skin? Nah, I don't I don't see it that way. I wish it was that way, to tell the truth, but that's not what it is. You know? Unity, we do need unified to overcome what we're going through in America. But it's not going to fucking happen because now people are move, we, we, um, spread out so much now. This person got his work, he got his businesses, he got what he's thinking about, he got to take care of this, he got to take care of that. So it's not going to happen. The poor will stick together and unify. We think the rich going to come down from fucking Hollywood, whatever, and come march down and fucking like Ferguson, for example, and, and say hands up and don't shoot and things like that. Fuck no. You're not going to see them goddamn Rolls Royces and goddamn fucking boo guys come down there to the hood and march. They're not going to do that. Why? Because they're not a part of us no more. Not spiritually, they're not with us no more. They done moved on. So, don't get uptight <laughs> if you don't see unity among the masses. Because it's not going to happen. And that's my take on it. You, know, you can like or dislike, put your comments in. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments about some sellout shit. For you motherfuckers that yell that sellout shit, fuck you. And then I'm out. Black at you. Be back at you tomorrow.